Hello guys, welcome back to Europa Barbarol, playing with uh, Rome. So we are now entering a battle with uh, Pontus, 1 to 1 ratio near Amasea. Well, this is what's gonna happen. What I want is to bring these guys here, the rest of them is not important, so let's just do this. Let's just put the question. Come on, hurry up before they're gonna arrive. This guy is gonna make most of it. Ten toxin palangos lavete. Ombres epelosis. Ombres epelosis. Okay, let's bring the other guys. So, time to bring these guys forward. There are our allies, which are, which is nothing. No, it's they are taking their captain. Now. This is gonna be very dangerous for them. This Cappadocian cavalry is gonna fall right away. They're taking with their cap. It's kind of definitely. Cool. In the meantime, we're taking care of casualties from just the poor slingers that are fighting against us. It's unbelievable. So they're gonna arrive with their elite Pontic Phalanx. Which I wonder if they're gonna form the Phalanx here on the bridge. Now, if their captain will fall, then I'm not sure they will be able to do something about it. I think this is the captain. He's trying to break it through. He's also putting up an incredible resistance, isn't it? There's a lot of heavy troops against him. Oh yes! <laughs> now that was epic. I can't make it to this bridge though. Oh 
Oh, there's a fear charge. But it's of course difficult to defeat their elite pointed troops. There is the second unit. They have only two units. One is here fighting and perhaps will be quickly defeated. There are also some heavy skirmishers they are using. Is a good action. They're doing a great job. Yeah, this is gonna take some time, I guess. Captain Level Kratos. I think we could just uh, speed up the game a little bit. So we see that we're losing a lot of our most of our uh, phalanxes here, although they didn't form the phalanxes and they still have a lot of units. I think this battle is going to be very difficult for us. Very difficult. speed up the game. Our allies are also with us, but unfortunately... Can't do much. This point against them, look at them, they are just fresh. This is unbelievable. This is insane. Only 83 casters. And they're only warmed up. Because the problem is if these guys will, will surrender, they're not even using their finances. I think it was a strategic mistake by me. I just put them right here, very compact units here to keep up the center. I think this one should be done. This guy, is, so, someone's firing my general. I send him back, I don't really want to lose him. That's the last thing I want. I don't want to have him. This Ponti Kelly, look at them, they are resisting so much. This is unbelievable. My entire phalanx unit is annihilated. They should have form the phalanx this year. There you go, now it's better. For the phalanxes, now they're gonna completely annihilate our troops. Some of them are also retreating. Mm, 
Many of them are retreating. Look at that. Okay, so they are charged with the second unit. This kind of situation is very difficult. Although they have no, uh, they have no general and stuff like that. Oh yes, many of them are retreating now. Their second phalanx unit, however, is doing a great job. But like I said, with a little bit of luck, we cannot completely annihilate them. Yeah, And they still have the archers. Are they gonna lose a lot of their troops? That's for sure. We'll send our Insta forward, even though we have lost a lot of men towards them. But the archers are fleeing. Interesting. If they're gonna lose these two units of phalanxes, then this is gonna be okay for me. Well, of course, that on the bridge is always difficult. Let's go general a bit closer. Just can't find a place here to use the funds. Oh, this is gonna take like forever. This guy's gonna fight like forever. They are already very tired, though. This is good. Oh man, no way. This entire unit could bring could destroy my entire army. Our allies are arriving, but I don't think it's they gonna make a big difference. Actually they are losing a lot of men suddenly. This is interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> because they are exhausted or something. These units are just insane. Now this is a very nice unit. Look at this. You can watch uh, through the bridge or something. This is a very nice image. Very nice view. These guys are still exhausted. This unit could defeat my entire army, look at this. Oh, they are using their phalanx just now. They are using their phalanx, this shouldn't happen. Oh, 70 and they are completely annihilating my armies. 66. This is the problem that they are using their phalanxes. Shit, they're gonna win the battle. This guy's only this unit will win the battle. I have an idea, let's give another charge to the last. Well, I'm not sure this is gonna bring something, but... Now they are using their phalanxes, that is the problem. Just about to lose the entire battle because of one unit of elite Pontic phalanxes. The one that held them was this unit here.
Oh, this is insane. Look at this. Oh, yes, man. Finally. Let's continue the battle. And let's finish them off. <laughs> Here comes our allies. This is our tag with our general. Hopefully, he's not gonna fall or something. Uh, oh my god. This is insane. Insane. Now <laughs> they have four, three troops left. And we have like 400. But I'm gonna recruit a lot of mercenaries because this general is alive. Except the fact that they can attack us again. They didn't attack. They have decided not to attack. Now, that was a very big mistake. That was a huge mistake. Whatever. Let's see what we got here. In Kalitos. This guy's gonna go out and we're gonna send him on the front line. So let's just let's see again what's going on. In fact, I'm gonna have a chance. Because we still have a problem here. Although, I think if we're gonna build this thing here, so let's just do this. Okay. Here we're gonna need a lot of mercenaries, uh, at least. So let's just take mercenary troops. Those gonna cost us a lot. And we could basically besiege them here because they don't seem to have any other troops. So let's just do that. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Orders. March. Prepare for battle. Besieging settlement, sir. Oh, they could go out and attack us. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but it might work. However, if it will work, it's going to be problematic. Well, I'm just going to put another unit of call it cavalry. Yeah. We still have two units of hoplites, which is very important. Uh, they might attack, but they just want to take the risk. Here, I I think that everything will be okay because it's gonna recruit some mercenaries, some mercenary general, whatever. And we've captured this town. This is good. They gotta, of course, besiege us very quickly. Now they still have troop there. Let's just attack it. Oh my God. You can't even see the side of their armies, but it must be huge. So they have two huge armies. What can I do? I'm not sure what, you know, if I can do anything. If they're gonna besiege us, then they're gonna take us, take us down. There's a lot of nonsense buildings here. Let's just get rid of them. It's gonna be okay. So what I want is to unite our forces and to move forward. The only way they could attack us is through this area, which means that... Basically, we can keep these two armies united together and if they're gonna take and see that perhaps gonna be attacked as well. Fortunately, now we're too far away. I, what, what I think they will do, they're just gonna besiege side here. Which is frankly no problem for me. And let them do it if they want. We can retrain our Celtic troops here. This is not so good. So I think here everything will be okay. But let's just take a look at the other thing. Oh, 
Oh yes. Here, frankly, it also seems that it would be okay. Or yeah, we're well, we gonna build this, of course. Wait a minute. Let's take a look again here. So we have 64. But these guys will get in. We're gonna have 60. You better stay out. Okay, 64. That's right. It should be okay next. Because the one, the only thing that I'm interested in is to attack as many as possible. Okay. Now what are we gonna do with this guy? We should send them also to Northern Africa. So let's go. Out of move, sir. Oh, unfortunately, Imperator. no one can follow me right now, except some cavalry. Build up a lot there, and like I said, I'm just gonna bring him down south, take some more troops, then go to North America. If I'm gonna wait more, they're gonna recruit more troops here, so it's gonna happen. So unfortunately, a big family member in Rome is dead. That means that cannot. I'm gonna have any uh, bonuses. Build some things here. Starving Marius Maximus. I don't think. I think so. There is a good commander. That's good. Tactician Sixtus Longus in Australia. Minus Maximus. Whatever. Arcus Leukia is the most advanced faction. This is unbelievable. Okay, now let's see what is going on here. The British. Maybe I should prepare an invasion of Britain, so that would be interesting. And like I said, I really need an army to take the Mansia, and I want to take it right away. Yes, master. Hiding aboard ship, watching over the troops. I think. Ah, it's not gonna make it. Isn't this guy in the desert? Also want to see what's on what's in here. Perhaps because I think there must be definitely a rebel town or something somewhere in here that I also want to take in the future. Okay, and here actually we could, like I said, I would try to take their capital here, but not just yet. First, of all, let's see what it's gonna do. Oh yes, let's attack with these guys. Although we gotta definitely need some troops first. I'm gonna provide the troops right here. We will present reinforcement right there. And this is gonna be the army we're we gonna attack at uh, once. Although I know they have good troops there, but I'm just gonna be siege them first. I gotta see what's going. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. Go back here. Okay. Yeah, okay. we're gonna attack. General. Orders. General. Orders. General. Orders. Leaving the army. 
Imperator. Onward! Out of move, sir! I gotta put a lot of armies here. We have anyway, a huge population. General. Got rid of those rappers there, that's also good. Send this army also into Northern Africa. Maybe we're not gonna definitely need it, but you never know. Well, we've got to retrain these guys and look how much experience they have here. They look pretty good. It's gonna be another army. Okay, in Germania, maybe some troops from here, but not need to just now. Imperator, listen, these guys towards. Asia Minor, and that's what's going on here. Yeah, we can also... Yes, Captain. Disembark. Yes, Captain. Orders to the ships. Set sail. Also towards Disembark. Asia Minor. Let's go. Actually, in this direction. This guy's in north direction. Two armies. Perfect. Thirty-three years old. Very good general. Fleet ready. Um, like I said, with one of them, I just want to attack Rodos, but I'm gonna need a full army. I want to do this. Perhaps really this guy, maybe. Seventy-one years old. Thirty-two. At defense. He's the perfect general. Let's move forward to the northern for Byzantium, actually. This is only 17 years old, but it's a very good job. Okay, so they will attack us, that's for sure. Um, they attack us with two armies. That's why I think most important thing is to go like around here or perhaps more forward because we got a huge population here so we can recruit a lot of men and this one that I actually do two more recruitments here so even four more things. Oh yes, this is good. Also, there's a run is here. This is of course perfect. They will attack us. They possibly, possibly try to attack us. I'm not sure where, but we're just gonna see what they will do. So here, everything is cool. Attack! Settlement under just gonna have to wait. Turn or something. Taking the Amasea is gonna be great because it's gonna offer us further expansion. And if we're gonna somehow manage to deal with the situation, then we're gonna have to send our spies. That's right, this is a great thing. Such, such a small tunnel that is not Tarsus, then Antioch. 
but I should also have a view here on Mazaka. Right, so I think this time that's it. That's all what we can do. I don't think I forgot to do something. Oh yes, actually I did. I forgot here. I gotta take this down first. Okay, and immediately nothing is happening. Here nothing happens. Kaji is just trying to take up some more troops. Here, here might be the rebels, because these are Carthaginians, these are already probably Maori. Yes, master. Okay, interesting. So like I said, let's try to take out that town right here in northern Carthage. Their capital. So this is their a family member, 61 years old. What do I have inside? Extremely poor troops, that means that it should be extremely easy for me to take the town. So let's see. Okay, we're just gonna attack directly. Well, they have a lot of archers and everything, but so just send our troops actually forward. Try to be efficient. Also having a lot of archers, of course. Yeah, let's organize our troops a little bit. Oh, look at this creature pest, they were very fierce. No, they're gonna perhaps flee or something. We're just gonna wait here for the time being. Actually, let's wait. They do have a lot of troops, that's for sure. Let's see what our missile troops will do. I'm very curious. I already lost some Balearic Slingers, 3%. But this is very smart of them to flee with their entire units. Let's bring our main troops forward. That's all that's all that we got. Oh, they have rubbed their horses. Some new units from time to time. They still have a lot of units, that's for sure. They're trying to deal with our Velitas. Median nobles. guys are being decimated, but they still have a lot of troops, that's for sure. I'm not quite sure what these guys are doing here. <laughs> so, let's see, they still have some troops patrolling around, there is their general. <coughs> I 
I think. Let's just wait a little bit. Or maybe not. We'll just attack him. Come on, Hasra! Come on, huge charge onto them. Just gonna wait a little bit here. All these guys. They become their counter star and stuff like that. Kind of lose a lot of troops. Or they fleeing. Let's go right there. Well, he taps. These guys are decimated. They have absolutely no chance because their units are doing something incredibly poor. This is the power of the fire machine. Comes another unit of a contest tie. And yet another one. They do have a lot of troops here in the side, that's for sure. However, it doesn't seem that. Go with this Kairos forward. So we got tombs of Toxotai that are done. Wait. I said this look cool right there, just in case. Our guys have no ammunition anymore. Here come the enemy nobles. A huge charge. That's right, they are up some more chaps. No, they're gonna check with the general, they have 39, it's not the present city at least. Now they try to attack again. Oh, there are the Peditas. Let's push it forward as quickly as possible. 
Okay, the problem is that they are attacking the missiles. This is very annoying, I have to say. They're attacking the general. This is a very big mistake. But I'm gonna also attack with our general. So it's gonna happen. General against general. Oh man, <laughs> our troops are retreating. Our general, because it's just taking enough characters. They're using their archers. But if the old general will fall, then everything will be. That's right, my troops are advancing towards the town center, which is exactly what we wanted. Forward. So they still have some Arcondis style, they still have a lot of troops indeed, but they still have very poor troops and unfortunately the general is not dead yet. He's the only one surviving there. Putting up an incredible fight. Although they have very poor infantry. Take a look at this the details. They are enemies. Give a huge charge with our cavalry. And however, we have to be very careful not to lose our general. Take a look at these guys, how much they are resisting. They are completely in a circle. Okay, maybe I should treat my cavalry. We lost enough, man. That was an insane battle. I have lost only three extraordinary pedicles. And where is my unit of principles right there? Equites 
This general just don't want to die. Look at him. He is the hero of the battle. Of the Carthaginians. Actually, this is... No, this is not the last stand up because we still have some towns there. But this is their capital, that's for sure. Come on, guys, just a capital on that time. We should be able to give a charge and bring down general against general. All that is only alone in this fight he's having. I think he's gonna be brought down now. I just have a feeling. <laughs> just as I thought. Alright, and the last charge here. One each. The general did the last job. Huron. What's his name? That was a nice victory. Although they might have some troops fighting here, so let's just finish them off. Oh man, that was easy. That was easy. So, we lost 500 men. This is a lot. Anyway, we took their capital. This was their last stand. I think we also lost some troops. Save them. This is a good idea, but what else can we do? We don't have any other possibilities. Right, let's see what else. Population is in a way pretty impressive here. And we have free spy, so let's send it towards um Ptolemy Empire. 55. Okay. This guy's gonna move forward anyway, and no almost the whole northern Africa is ours, which is perfect. Then next turn we're gonna take or next episode we're gonna take Nomantia with this small peasant army. And then we're gonna try to take this one here, Sala. It's gonna be that big. Anyway, then we're just gonna arrive, take the remaining Carthaginian towns, such as this one here. I think it's their capital now. No, it's not. And of course, this one, Lepki, which is a pretty important one. And it's this one here. We're just gonna take all of them. This one gonna do. Yeah. 
obvious we have another army here. That is sent perhaps through Italy into the farther east. Yeah, we gotta wait and see what the Slipkins will do. They probably will attack because they have a lot of armies. These foxes are absolutely insane. Orders. But we're gonna make it. Okay. Right. So, that being said, I think I'm gonna be ready to move on. I know that there will be still be a lot of battles, a lot of wars all over the place. It's gonna be, of course, uh, more and more difficult to capture towns because of public order that will increase the CTT's risks to say least. But we'll see. What's gonna happen? Now there's been more investments. I think we're doing fine. We have 85 settlements. That's great. At least we're gonna be able to recruit uh, legionaries. That will be interesting. Chalkis. Right. Then let's get back to Italy. Give me the loan and we can basically build something. Let's see what. Okay, and let's see where else. In Velditeno. Everywhere something is being built up, I don't even know where to expand any further. Because there are buildings being built everywhere. Basically. I don't really think that someone will attack us here, but... Expand the region even further more. Oh man, look this trade is gonna increase even more and I mean also mining is also good enough, tax penalties, other is big, but now we're gonna build this wall so it's gonna be better. This is a Greek general. Okay, so that being said, thank you very much for watching guys, and until next time, bye bye.